I hope everyone I'm back again so uh, it's time here to do a quick little review of the uh, Ud Udemoni ROM for the Alpha I think that's how you pronounce it uh, which is an Android KitKat uh, ROM uh, for the Galaxy Alpha which uh, promises to speed up your device uh, as well as uh, improve the battery life and uh, I have to say I'm quite disappointed with the ROM support about this device. It seems to be quite uh, uh, like a wasteland on the XDA. But uh, this ROM did look quite interesting so I flashed it on. And I have to say when I first flashed this on I thought that I'd, I'd, I'd just flashed on a stock TouchWiz ROM without uh, kind of like flashing on the actual ROM because it looks exactly the same as what you get with the stock touch was rom uh, but you're getting uh, like a zip aligned optimization full deodex nox free uh, international or in in that in it software support private mode and a three minute battery chooser uh, i have noticed there's a little battery icon in the top right hand corner there but I'm not really sure what the point of that is because you've already got like a uh, battery indicator there. But other than that, you know, this is to me very, uh, it's, it's extremely close to what you already got on the device. And I'm like, you know, what exactly is the difference here? As you can see, you get pr pretty much everything uh, in terms of the settings. Well, I was going into the display here, somewhere around here. And just seeing if there's anything different, pretty much all the same. Uh, and uh, I think the only way I could actually tell that I'd got a custom ROM on here is you go into the build number here, you can see U Udemini, uh, which is uh, on KitKat. Would have been nice if it was on Lollipop, I guess, for enhanced optimization. But as you can see, it does look quite. Uh, fast and fluid from using it and uh, stable like no kind of crashes yet so uh, I do think that the uh, ROM kind of uh, community for the Galaxy Alpha is a bit weak at the moment though you know it could do with bumping up it's still a, an excellent device this is and uh, with a very nice premium d design so it does deserve some more support I think but uh, maybe it's because of the new like Galaxy A series as well as the S uh, S6 line will kind of overshadow this device but this was like the forefather so to speak of uh, newer Samsung so uh, it might be worthwhile checking out it's quite easy to get onto your device it's uh, you know just put it on uh, the uh, Odin you can root your device using CF auto root uh, and uh, use Odin and then just flash it on uh, and uh, you can download the TWRP recovery from the Play Store which uh, you'll find the recovery downloadable uh, so I'll leave some links in the description if you want to check it out it might be uh, quite good for your battery and things like that so uh, yeah you know uh, gonna keep this video a bit shorter I think because as I said there's not really much different about the ROM but I thought I'd just put a review up any anyway if you're looking at putting this on your device and uh, yeah hope you found it informative cheers